Did you know that there's a hundred year old sales technique that actually still works today that you can apply in your business? It's called the ADA formula. And it's a way to grab people's attention, get them interested in something, and then get them to do something. It's used in almost every single form of marketing that's available today, whether it's in print or billboards or social media. And it's actually one of the most essential tools, one of the most essential sales techniques that you could know for your business today. So I'm going to get right into how to actually use it. There's a very specific formula to this. And if you don't get it right, your message is just not going to resonate. I'll walk you through each step in a little bit here. Interestingly, Ada was actually developed to sell door to door. They created this formula to be able to figure out how to sell more stuff. Even though it's so old, it's over a hundred years old, it's still used today. So remember your goal is to actually attract somebody's attention, get them interested in something, increase the desire in that thing, and then ask them to go do something. So buy it or subscribe or whatever the thing is. So attention is the first step in the Ada formula. And basically you want to create curiosity around the opening statement that you have. And one of the best ways is actually to ask them a question of something that they don't have. So an example is like, I'm hungry, I want food. And so when somebody asks, hey, do you want to get a pizza? It's like immediately my attention is there. It's on them. It's like, yes, I'm hungry. Yes, I love pizza. Okay, let's figure this out. Another way to grab attention is to actually tell a story. So a common phrase that people are using is a hook. And so, you know, a hook usually is in the title, but then the opening paragraph, the first opening up three paragraph is actually going to create that anticipation, create that interest, right? That attention. And so what you're going to do is maybe you're going to tell a story or start by telling a story. Did you know, hey, once upon a time, you know, you're opening up with a story and you're leading people down a journey. Another way to do this is to use numbers or facts or statistics where it's like some amazing number. Oh, did you know that there's 5 million minutes of video that's uploaded to YouTube, right? Like, my goodness, that's a lot of, I don't know if that's actually factually correct, but you get the point. It's like big number, interesting fact around like, oh, wow, there's so much going on. Another thing you could do is be controversial, like create a little bit of controversy to get people to like, oh, wait, why is this person saying this? Or wait, this doesn't make sense. What, what is this? The second step in the formula in ADA is interest. And so I said, you want to get somebody interested in the thing that you're talking about. So one way you could do that is to actually give people a reason as to why the product or the service that you have is valuable, right? Make them see how it's going to help them change their lives. Make them see how it's going to make a difference to their lives. Make them see that this is a thing that's actually, you know, something that's relevant, something that's needed, something that would help change. The next step is desire. And so how do you increase the desire? So using the pizza example, if you ask your friend or your partner, like, hey, do you want pizza as the attention grabber? The next question could be, like, hey, we haven't gone to this specific restaurant that we know has really great pizza. XYZ, one of our friends has told us about this place. And so, hey, why don't we go try it out? So I'm increasing the desire. I'm creating a little bit more intrigue. I'm creating desire in the other person in that like, hey, yeah, there's curiosity. Like, yeah, I want to go check this place out because our friends mentioned it. And then to add to the desire, you could use a time-specific thing where it's like, hey, do you want to go get pizza now? They have a deal on these pizzas today. Or, you know, there's a buy one, get one special right now that's happening. There's happy hour and we're going to get free drinks with our pizza if we go between 6 and 7, which is right now. So using timing in your desire can also help increase the desirability of the thing that you're looking to sell or promote or want people to do. And then action, which is the last step in the ADA formula, is basically a call to action. It's a thing that's asking people to do the thing that you want them to do. Like, hey, do you want to get pizza? Let's go to this specific restaurant. It's got a really good deal. It's a buy one, get one free special today. And you know what? Mike and Jenny was talking about this restaurant the other day. They said it was really great. Like, would you like to go? So the would you like to go is the call to action. Right? You're asking the person. You're asking them for, to make a decision. That's what a call to action is. That's the ADA formula, and you can use it in anything that you're using. In fact, I'll be honest, this particular video was created using the ADA formula. If you go back and watch the intro, you go well, watch the structure. I used the ADA formula in the first opening minutes or two. There's also landing pages where your headline and your subheading is creating the action, creating the desire, creating the interest, and the button that says to sign up or learn more or whatever is the actual call to action. It's like a very short, small section where ADA is applied. ADA is used typically in ads to create that awareness, that attention, that interest, that desire. Apply this formula to your marketing, to your social posts, and see how it goes. It's not going to work every single time because 
maybe you don't want to, you know, structure your messages in a very direct way or in such a short way. But definitely one thing that you can do is test it, see how it works, apply different things, try multiple call to actions, try multiple desire points, try multiple interest points, find different hooks to actually grab people's attention. It's one of the best ways that you can and one of the fastest ways to actually build your business. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more formulas that work either in copywriting or in sales or even just in terms of building your landing pages or your websites because yeah i'm going to be pitching more of that content soon thank you bye